So this question is a word problem. So we're going to use the translate word problem strategy here. So let's get started and make sure we write down any quantitative information as we read it. So the question starts off by saying, Keith modeled the growth over several hundred years of a tree population by estimating the number of trees pollen grains per square centimeter that were deposited each year within layers of a lake's sediment. Okay, so something about tree growth and pollen deposits into a lake. The next sentence says, he estimated there were 310 pollen grains per square centimeter the first year the grains were deposited. All right, so now we have some quantitative information. So year one equaled 310, I would say PG for pollen grains. Okay, and then it says with a 1% annual increase in the number of grains per square centimeter thereafter. So thereafter, so that means we add a year, right? We get to year two, and that year two number should be basically 310 plus 310 times 1%, which as a decimal is 0 0.01. If we put that into our calculator just to get a real number here, Let's type that in, and what I get is 313.1, right? So 313.1 pollen grains. And we just keep doing this. Year three would be the 313.1 plus that same number times 0 0.01, and we get some value. And we just keep going on for however many years. So the next part of this, or the next sentence says, which of the following functions models P of T the number of pollen grains per square centimeter t years after the first year the grains were deposited. Okay, so we're trying to figure out what P of t is. And we want to see what equation down here actually represents that. I'm going to use, I'm going to use this year two data, right? So again, year two is really when t equals one because it's one year after the first, that first year. So what does that mean to me? That means that P of 1, I expect to equal 313.1. So let's see. If I were to plug T, if I were, if I were to replace that T with 1 here, that will not equal 313.1. So A is gone. Would 310 to the 1.01 .01 times 1 power, would that equal 313.1? We'd have to go to our calculator and just make sure and see what it is. So we will see that that's in fact not the case. It's equal to 328. So that's also gone. How about uh, 310, so answer choice C, 310 times 0 0.99 to the first power. So that would be 310 times 0 0.99. That's equal to 306, right? So that's also not correct for us. And then how about 310 for choice D, 310 times 1.01 .01 to the first, which is practically just 310 times 1.01. .01, and that does, in fact, give us the answer that we were looking for. It's the only answer choice that gave us 313.1, which means choice D must be the correct answer.